Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the volume of a solid of revolution that it's um, generated by rotating a region about a line other than the x or the y axis. In this case, we're looking at the region bounded by y equals x over 2, y equals the square root of x, and we're rotating about the line x equals 6. So let's begin with the sketch. So here is our graph. And we need to find an integral for the volume. And if you recall, volume is just given by the integral of the area of the region, either with respect to x or with respect to y. So now we have to figure out how to compute that volume. And when this is rotated, it's going to create some solid with a big hole in the middle. So we're going to have an inner radius and an outer radius. So let's figure out what that inner radius and that outer radius are. And in order to clear up space, I'm going to erase some stuff around my picture, namely all this extra content we don't need. Okay, so there's a little more space around the picture now so I can draw the two, um, the, the radius for the inner one and the radius for the outer one. And so let's start with our inner radius. Now our inner radius, we have to start at our axis of rotation, and that's at x equals 6, and we go out. And that's going to be our inner radius. So let's go ahead and label this. So the inner radius, I'm going to label that r1. Well, what does r1 actually equal? This whole distance here is 6 units. And as you can see, this distance here, x, so x plus r1, that has to equal this entire distance. These are the same value. So we're going to use that to our advantage. That tells me that the first radius is equal to 6 minus x. And now what is x in this case? Well, we're looking at this linear, this curve, this line, and we can rewrite this. Instead of writing it as y equals x over 2, we can rewrite this as x equals 2y. So that means our first radius is equal to 6 minus 2y. All right, now let's look at the outer radius. So again, I'm going to delete the unnecessary information at this point, and that's here. So our outer radius is this distance. And I'm going to label this R2, and that's the outer radius. And so again, this entire distance from the y-axis to x equals 6 is 6 units long. And x, again, plus r2, so x plus r2 has to equal 6. So let's figure out what r2, or a second radius, actually is. Well, now what is x in this case? Because x goes this distance, whereas before x went all the way to the purple line. Now we're stopping at this curved line, and that's the square root of x. And we can rewrite that. In this case, we have y equals the square root of x, or equivalently, x equals y squared. So this second radius is equal to 6 minus x squared, excuse me, y squared. Wonderful. So that puts us a little closer to being able to figure out the formulas for area of our region and then find our volume. And let's also sketch a cross section. And so if I were to slice this all the way across, I would end up with a washer with a hole in it. So I'd have this inner hole that's purple and then this outer hole that's green. And in order to find the area of this washer, I need to take the larger area, then subtract the smaller area. So let's find the outer radius area first. And this would be a of y equals pi r squared, which is pi times 6 minus y squared quantity squared. Now that we've done that, let's find the area we will be subtracting, which is found with this inner circle. And that area is a with respect to y, so a of y equals pi r squared again, or pi times 6 minus 2y quantity squared. Okay, now we have our two areas. What do we need to do next? Before All right, well, in order to find our volume, since we're subtracting one region, that is, we're subtracting the smaller region from this larger region to get this area, we need to set up the area of that washer. And so the area that's going to help us compute this volume is going to be 
the outer area, so pi times 6 minus y squared, quantity squared, minus our inner area, which is pi times 6 minus 2y, quantity squared. And this is with respect to y. And now we just need to consider our limits of integration. y for, um, runs from 0 to 2. And then before I go on, I want to quickly discuss with respect to y or with respect to x. When we're using um, slices, so that is either discs or washers, to find the volume of a solid, if we rotate about the y-axis, we will always we will always integrate with respect to y. But if we rotate about a different line, so long as it's parallel to the y-axis, you will also integrate with respect to y. Similarly, if I rotated this about the x-axis, we'd integrate with respect to x. Or if I rotated it about, say, y equals 3, which is a line parallel to the x-axis, we'd also integrate with respect to x. So please keep that in mind. Okay, so this problem at this point just requires a lot of algebra skills. So f multiplying things out. All right, so this integral is much neater and tidier and it's much easier to integrate it now. And we end up with our volume is equal to pi times y to the fifth over five minus 16y cubed over 3 plus 12y squared. And we are evaluating from 0 to 2. So our volume is just pi times 32 over 5 minus 16 times 8 over 3 plus 12 times 4. And this should give us 176 pi over 15. I hope this video was helpful.